Previously reported that China is losing its status as the world's factory. The growing number of empty containers piling up in Chinese ports is confirming this. This is the current Yangshan port in Shanghai, with mountains of containers piled up. The latest data from Container Exchange, a global container trading platform, shows that in the sixth week of 2023, the CAEX or Container Availability Index of 40-foot containers in Shanghai Port reached 0.64, which has been above 0.6 for 11 consecutive weeks. A CAEX value greater than 0.5 indicates that there is excess container equipment. Not only in Shanghai, but the phenomenon of empty containers piling up is also seen in Guangzhou, Shenzhen, and other major ports in China. The number of empty containers at Shenzhen Yantian port in early January has hit a record high since March 2020, with empty containers stacked at 6 to 7 levels. The once congested road is now empty. Trucks are parked all over the parking lot. The China Shipping Information Platform reported that it's likely to break the largest empty container pile in the 29 years since Yantian port opened. In December 2022, the empty containers at Guangzhou's Nansha port were already at twice the normal storage capacity, setting a new record for the highest empty container value since the outbreak in China. The situation is noted by the Wall Street Journal, which reported on March 2, 2023, that shipping from Chinese ports has slowed significantly, with empty containers piling up and trucks without cargo parked on the highways leading to the main terminals. A driver unloading a container full of kitchen cabinets at the Shenzhen port told the Wall Street Journal, There are 16,000 registered truck drivers here, but only 3,000 are working right now. This is probably the worst year we've ever seen because Americans are no longer buying Chinese goods. The Chinese media can no longer avoid the problem either. A Shanghai port terminal operator recently told the media in China, The terminals are full of empty containers, many of which are now stacked in Taichung, Jiangsu province, a site not seen in many years. The empty containers in Shanghai ports are all piled up. And many of them have been piled up in Taichung, Jiangsu province, a phenomenon that hasn't been seen for many years. The phenomenon of empty containers piling up is not only in Shanghai ports, but also in all major ports in China. You may remember that in 2021, it was difficult to find a container in China. And at that time, if you got one, it meant you were about to get rich. Because at that time, China had a lot of goods to export, eh? Now it's the reverse. Too many empty boxes. It means exports have slowed down and not so much cargo to be shipped out. Rain-X premium silicone wiper blades last two times longer than traditional wipers. If rain We rarely work over time anymore. When we worked over time before, it was usually 12 hours on and 12 hours off, but now it's 12 hours on and 24 hours off. A worker driving a container truck at the Shanghai port told China's Jianmian News on February 15th that there were many empty containers at the port today and their workload has suffered as a result. With so many empty containers, it's only natural that shipping prices will take a big hit. According to the Fredo's Baltic Index, the cost of sending a container from China to Los Angeles in the last week of February fell from U.S. 15,600 in 2022 to U.S. 1,238 this year. China in trouble, guys. So, your owner operator, get ready for the storm to continue. Uh, don't be afraid to park that motherfucker and uh, jump in the company truck, man. At least the truck's still gonna be there when all of this pass, because it will pass. But it's just seeming like that it's gonna take a little longer than usual. And um, first thing you do, man, is cut off all the access bullshit. 
dispatcher services and whatever else um, that's unnecessary right now. Look like we in this for the long haul, guys. Pray for you, man, and um, let's keep trucking, fellas. I'm just saying.